Okay, let us try to solve some questions from exercise 1.1. Question number one. Following number line shows the temperature in degrees Celsius at different places on a particular day. This is the number line showing the different temperature readings of five cities of India. Lahul Spiti, Srinagar, Simla, Uti, Bangalore. Question number A. Observe this number line and write the temperature of the places marked on it. So after observing this temperature reading on the number line, we are going to make a solution using a table. Okay, this is the table for uh, the temperature reading of the different cities. First, let us observe the temperature reading of Lahul Spiti. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. The temperature reading of Lahul Spiti is located at minus 8 on this number line. So the temperature of Lahul Spiti is minus 8 degree Celsius. The temperature reading of Srinagar is counting back from 0. 1, 2, minus 2. It is located at minus 2 on a number line. So the temperature reading of Srinagar is minus 2 degrees Celsius. Since Simla is located on the right side of 0, so the temperature reading is going to be positive plus counting from 0. As we are counting from, from 0, we have to start next from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The temperature reading of Simla is located at plus 5. So Simla is 5 degrees Celsius. Observing the temperature reading of OT on this number line, since OT is located on the right side of 0, it will be 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. OT is 14 degrees Celsius. Next city is Bangalore. Observing the temperature reading of the Bangalore on the number line, it is located at 15, 20, 21, 22. So the temperature reading of Bangalore is 22 degrees Celsius. So next is sub number B. What is the difference between the hottest and the coldest places among the above? Observing the temperature reading from the given table, the temperature of the hottest place, Bangalore, is 22 degrees Celsius, and the temperature of the coldest place, Lahul Spiti, is minus 8 degrees Celsius. So the difference in temperature of the hottest place and the coldest place can be taken by doing subtraction. The hottest place, Bangalore, 22 degrees Celsius, will subtract. The coldest place, Lahul Spiti, minus 8 degrees Celsius. Here, to remove bracket, we multiply the negative sign outside bracket and negative sign inside bracket. Minus and minus multiply becomes plus. So, 22 degrees Celsius plus 8 degrees Celsius is 30 degrees Celsius. The difference in temperature between the hottest place and the coldest place is 30 degrees Celsius. Next question is, number C, what is the temperature difference between Lahul Spiti and Srinagar? Observing the temperature reading from the table, the temperature of Lahul Spiti is minus 8 degrees Celsius and the temperature of Srinagar is minus 2 degrees Celsius. So taking the temperature difference of the two cities Lahul Spiti and Srinagar, The hotter temperature minus 2 degrees Celsius will subtract the colder temperature minus 8 degrees Celsius. To remove bracket, we multiply the negative sign outside bracket and the negative sign inside bracket. Minus n minus multiply becomes plus. Now minus 2 and plus 8 are opposite sign. Minus and plus cannot be added. It has to be subtracted. Subtracting 2 from 8, we get plus 6 degrees Celsius. 
The temperature difference of the two cities, Lahul Spiti and Srinagar, is 6 degrees Celsius. Question number 3. At Srinagar, at temperature was minus 5 degrees Celsius on Monday, and it then it dropped by 2 degrees Celsius on, Tuesday, on Tuesday. What was the temperature of Srinagar on Tuesday? And on Wednesday, it rose by 4 degrees Celsius. What was the temperature on this day? So initial temperature of Srinagar on Monday was minus 5 degrees Celsius. The next day, the temperature was dropped by 2 degrees Celsius. That was on Tuesday. So the temperature reading on Tuesday will be minus 5 degrees Celsius minus 2 degrees Celsius. Since 2 degrees Celsius is the temperature drop, so it will be taken as a negative number of numbers. So minus and minus will be added same signs should be added 5 and 2 adding we get 7 but it will take the common sign minus minus 7 degrees celsius but the temperature was increased by 4 degrees celsius on so the temperature reading on wednesday will be the temperature reading on tuesday minus 7 degrees celsius will be added to will be added with plus degrees celsius here we are using plus because it is the increase in temperature. Increase in temperature will be taken as a positive number. But in this case, one is negative and one is positive number. So negative number and positive number cannot be added. It has to be subtracted. 7 is subtracting 4. We get 3. And the sign will be the sign which is carried by the larger absolute minus 7. It will take the sign of the larger absolute minus 7. So in the answer, it will be minus, minus 3 degrees Celsius. A plane is flying at a height of 5,000 meters above the sea level. At a particular point, it is exactly above a submarine flowing 1,200 meters below the sea level. What is the vertical distance between them? This diagram is showing the uh, vertical distance of an aeroplane and uh, the depth of the submarine from the sea level the vertical distance of the plane is 5000 meter and the depth of the submarine is 1200 meter from the sea level here the depth of the submarine is taken as negative number minus 1200 meter so the distance between the plane and the submarine can be calculated like this the vertical height of the plane from the sea level is plus 5000 meter subtracting the depth of the submarine which is 1200 meter below the sea level here in this case bracket can be removed by multiplying the negative number outside bracket and the negative number inside bracket minus and minus multiply becomes plus so 5000 plus 1200 that is 6200 meter the distance between the plane and the submarine is the total of 5000 and 1200 meter which is 6200 meter question number five mohan deposits rupees 2000 in a bank account and withdraws rupees 1642 from it the next day if withdrawal of amount from the account is represented by a negative integer, then how will you represent the amount deposited? Find the balance in Mohan's account after the withdrawal. If the withdrawal of amount from the account is represented by a negative integer, so the amount withdrawn will be represented by using negative number minus rupees 1642. So the amount deposited will be represented with positive integer rupees 2000 so balance in mohan's account 
can be calculated by adding the amount deposited and amount withdrawn. Here plus and minus inside bracket are multiplied. Plus and minus multiply becomes minus. So the balance in Mohan's account is calculated by subtracting the amount withdrawn from the amount deposited. Rupees 2000 minus rupees 1642. That is rupees 358. Question number 6. Rita goes 20 km towards is from a point A to the point B. From point B, she moves 30 km towards west along the same road. If the distance towards east is represented by a positive integer, then how will you represent her final position from A? From point A, Rita starts moving towards the east at a distance of 20 km. Here the question says the distance towards the east is represented by a positive integer. So let us assign it as plus 20 km. Moving from point B 30 km towards the west. So her location will be at the negative side from point A, crossing 10 km extra on the negative side from point A. So distance traveled towards the east from point A to B will be represented with positive number plus 20 km and the distance traveled towards the west from point B will be represented with negative number minus 30 km. So the final position of Rita from point A can be calculated as plus 20 km minus 30 km plus and minus should be subtracted so 30 is subtracting 20 we get minus 10 the bigger absolute 30 is carrying negative sign so it will be carried to the answer minus 10 km the final position of Rita from point A will be minus 10 km from point A towards the west. Question number 8. Verify A minus into minus B is equal to A plus B for the following values of A and B. Sub number 1. The value of A is 21 and the value of B is 18. So first writing the given expression a minus into minus b is equal to a plus b here first we find the value of the left hand side of the given expression a minus b into minus b replacing the value of a by 21 here the value of a is 21 and replacing the value of b by 18 the value of b is 18 Now we need to remove bracket. To remove bracket, we will multiply minus inside bracket and minus outside bracket. Minus and minus multiply becomes plus. Here the sum of 21 and plus 18 is 39. And again let us find the value of the right hand side of the expression. A plus B. Replacing the value of a by 21. A is here a is 21. And replacing the value of b by 18. Since the value of b is 18. The sum of 21 and 18 is 39. So the value of the left hand side and the value of the right hand side are equal. So the given expression a minus into minus b is equal to a plus b is verified. Sub number 2. Here the value of A is given 118 and the value of B is 125. First let us write the given expression A minus into minus B is equal to A plus B. 
let us find the value of the left hand side of the given expression a minus b into minus b here the value of a will be replaced by 118 the equation is giving the value of a is equal to 118 and replacing the value of b by 125 b is 125 here we need to remove bracket to remove bracket we will multiply the sign inside bracket and the sign outside bracket minus n minus multiply becomes plus 125 so the sum of 118 and 125 is 243 and next we will find the value of the right hand side of the expression a plus b replacing the value of a by 118 as it is given in the equation a is equal to 118 and replacing the value of b by 125 since the value of b is 125 so the sum of 118 and 125 is 243 therefore the value of the left hand side and the value of the right hand side are equal both are 243 since the value of the left hand side and the right hand side of the expression are equal hence the expression a minus into minus b is equal to a plus b is verified question number nine use the sign of is greater than is less than or is equal to in the box to make the statement true here in sub number eight we have to find whether the sum of minus eight and minus four is greater than or is less than or equal to with the difference of minus eight and minus four first let us find the value of the expression on the left hand side that is the sum of minus eight and minus four first we need to remove brackets to remove bracket from minus 8 we need to multiply the sign inside bracket and the sign outside bracket here nothing is given here if nothing is given here it is considered to be positive sign so minus and plus multiply becomes minus minus 8 and minus 4n plus multiply becomes minus 4 multiplying opposite sign we get minus 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 4 now we have two negative integers if the two integers have the same sign that is both are minus minus 8 and minus 4 we need to add the numbers adding the numbers 8 and 4 we get 12 but it will take the common sign minus now let us find the value of the expression on the right hand side minus 8 is subtracting minus 4 now we need to remove brackets to remove bracket minus inside bracket and plus outside bracket will be will be multiplied so minus and plus multiply becomes minus minus 8 and also the sign inside bracket minus n the sign outside bracket will be multiplied minus n minus multiply becomes plus plus 4 now we are having two integers having opposite sign one is minus and one is plus we need to subtract opposite sign cannot be added we need to subtract so it is subtracting 4 we get 4 but the answer will carry the sign which is carried by the bigger absolute minus minus 4 here in this case the value of the left hand side minus 12 is smaller than the value of the right hand side minus 4 since minus 12 is on the left side of minus 4 on a number line integers on the left side are smaller than integers on the right side 
minus 12 is smaller than minus 4. Hence, the expression on the left side is smaller than the expression on the right side. Sub number B. Here, we are going to find the value on the left hand side is less than or greater than or equal to the value on the the value on the right hand side first let us take the value of the expression on the left hand side minus 3 plus 7 minus into 19 first we will remove bracket to remove bracket from minus 3 the sign inside bracket will be multiplied with the sign outside bracket here the sign outside bracket there is plus if there is nothing given here it is considered to be, it is considered to be plus sign so minus and plus multiply becomes minus minus 3 and plus 7 plus inside bracket and minus outside bracket multiply becomes minus minus 19 now putting together negative integers minus 3 and minus 19 and plus 7 at the last the order of the integers are changed two negative numbers will be added first minus and minus should be added integers having the same sign should be added minus 3 and minus 19 will be added so minus 3 and minus 19 adding we get minus 22 19 and 3 adding we get 22 but it will take the common sign minus and which will be added with plus 7 the remaining number plus 7 here we get two integers having opposite sign minus 22 and plus 7 integers having opposite sign cannot be added it has to be subtracted now 22 is subtracting 7 we get 15 but it will take the sign of the bigger absolute minus in the answer minus 15 now let us find the value of the expression on the right hand side 15 minus 8 plus into minus 9 here the sign inside bracket minus n the sign outside bracket plus will be multiplied minus and plus multiply becomes minus minus 9 you no need to change the order of the integers here minus 8 and minus 9 will be added first integers having the same sign should be added minus 8 and minus 9 adding we get minus 17 we take the common sign minus and which will be subtracted with 15 15 is plus and 17 is minus opposite sign cannot be added it has to be subtracted 17 is subtracting 15 we get 2 but the answer will take the sign which is carried by the bigger absolute minus minus 2 here the value of the expression on the left hand side is minus 15 and the value of the expression on the right hand side is minus 2 since the value on the left hand side of the expression is smaller than the value of the expression on the right hand side because minus 15 is on the left side of minus 2 integers on the left side are smaller smaller than integers on the right side on a number line hence it can be concluded that the value of the expression on the left hand side is smaller than the value of the expression on the right hand side